One thing that people don't realize about the creator economy is it's going to double in the next three years. And I think a lot of people forget how long it took to get to this point in the creator economy with YouTube and TikTok and all of these things. And YouTube has been around for about 20 years, we'll say 15 years conservatively, once people figured out how to monetize on it. So it took 15 years for TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and all these things to get to the point where the creator economy is at where it's at right now. But in the next three years, it's going to double. That same amount of impact in the creator economy that took 15 years is going to happen in the next three years. And that's why I want you guys to really focus on TikTok. Now, the things that I'm seeing on TikTok right now, for example, just TikTok shop alone. I'm seeing your average Joe, you know, just a few, you know, five, six, seven thousand followers, people making 15, 20, 25K a month on TikTok shop alone, just being an affiliate. There are obviously people that are in the e-commerce space that are doing well on TikTok shop as well, probably even better than a lot of the affiliates, but you're getting people to realize how important organic TikTok traffic and the ability to make good content on TikTok really is. Now, for me, I started in 2015. I started with Facebook ads and e-commerce. And what I did was I did drop shipping and what I was able to do was produce about 10, right around 10K per month for a couple months and PayPal shut down my account. See, what what I was doing was I started Facebook groups around really niche things. The first thing was uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, tank tops. And so I was able to get Dragon Ball Z tank tops from AliExpress, get people in this Facebook group, and then advertise it there. And then from there, I learned Facebook ads, and I was able to draw people who were interested in my page, my Facebook group, and other Dragon Ball Z pages to go ahead and buy these, and I was doing very well. And then pay, when PayPal shut down my account, they said there were too many foreign tra transactions, but I realized something. I realized that I learned a skill on how to drive traffic. And so what I did was I took that skill to local businesses, and I ran Facebook ads for local businesses. And I was doing very well with that, you know, over the next couple of years. So, you know, you're looking at 20, right around 2018 time. And there was a point on Facebook where video started to matter a lot. And so what I did was I used Facebook ads with video and we shot the video for the local businesses and we started to really like the video side of things. And so we stopped doing the Facebook ads and we got on the video side and on the video side, we were able to do um, some corporate work, real estate work, but a lot of work in uh, music. So um, rock fest, country fest, some of these we fest, country thunder, country jam, those kind of big festivals. We, you know, we were out there shooting those festivals, got, got to meet a bunch of cool artists. My man, Sammy is down there, um, you know, right now to this day. Um, and he continued to scale in that direction. And so he's shooting big production music videos for all the people that you, you guys listen to on the radio and country music, for example. But we started to learn the video production side. And right around 2019 time, that's when I started to get on TikTok because I realized that vertical video was going to be something. And so I learned it. And now I have five accounts that have over 20K followers, Better Man Daily, Begin Crypto, Business on TikTok, on my, my TikTok Growth Secrets account. And so I have these accounts that I've done this. And the reason that I knew all of these things was because I was able to apply a lot of the things that I learned before about video production, about Facebook ads and local marketing and just business in general, I was able to apply to TikTok. Now, the reason that I'm so bullish, that I'm so excited about TikTok over the next three years is because it's the best source of organic traffic right now, bar none. You have shorts, fine. There are some people that are good at YouTube, okay. But those take a ton, a ton of skills. TikTok takes some skill as well, but there's a way bigger learning curve to being good on something like YouTube long form, right? And so you have Reels and you have YouTube and they're YouTube shorts and they're fine as well. But TikTok right now is the king of short form video, vertical video, and it's starting to turn, uh, videos are starting to turn landscapes. That's really starting to happen right now. TikTok is talking about how to monetize with advertising. So they've even talked recently about having a shop video, a clickable link on every single video 
on the For You page. And that would make them much more profitable and being able to disperse that and make more money to be able to pay more creators. They have a lot of ideas with that. But regardless, the opportunity is still massive on TikTok. Now, I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that I'm seeing right now that can help you here with TikTok and some of the features and things that are coming up and how to reverse engineer those things. See, if you can't reverse engineer some of the things that have happened in the past and apply them to now, you'll never get ahead of the curve. So let me go ahead and give you an example here. I watched Vine. I tried to get on Vine, but I mainly watched Vine in, you know, 2013, 14. And what Vine was doing was six second videos, just like TikTok, right? And creators started to blow up. But the problem was, is they had no idea how to monetize as a platform. And they also had a very bad ad experience for businesses and companies trying to use it. And so they weren't able to monetize. That's why Vine left. It's not because people didn't like Vine anymore. It's not because the creators didn't like producing on Vine. It's because they couldn't pay. So knowing that when I got on the platform for TikTok growth in early 2023, I already knew exactly what TikTok had to do. They had to do what Vine didn't do, right? And so I knew that they had to make videos, longer videos. They had to be able to somehow monetize and figure out which videos are causing the revenue for TikTok. So videos had to get longer. That's a YouTube thing, right? YouTube has long videos so that you can have mid-roll ads in between or pre-roll ads, all of those ad buys that businesses could buy. So knowing what I knew about YouTube and knowing what I knew about Vine, I knew that TikTok had to adopt some sort of thing like that. So when I started my account right away in, I think it was March of 2023, I knew these things and applied to my very first video, hit 1.2 million. I got 40K followers in 30 days and you know things started to continue to grow there and I was able to monetize and do all of those things with the beta creativity program they're paying anywhere between 40 cents to a dollar per 1000 views and we know that a thousand views is way easier to get on TikTok than it is on YouTube now there's qualified views and those things those can be a little more difficult to get TikTok's getting a little more stringent on what those are however the the possibilities on TikTok is endless. You could be an e-commerce shop creator. You could be an affiliate for a shop. You could be the beta creativity program. There's a bunch of programs that are UGC based where you make a video. You don't even have to post it, but you make the video and people buy that video from you. They they use that video on their account and you, you give them access to do that for, for a price. You could use the link in your bio on TikTok to uh, go ahead and create a digital product to have a course, to have a community, to you know use use it for affiliate traffic as well. There's so many things, so many ways to monetize on TikTok, and so that's what I really want you guys to understand are the possibilities of the things that are on TikTok. Now, with that being said, I want to give you guys some tangible things, some tangible strategies that you guys can go ahead and use. Now, if you're just starting or you're not you're not doing as well as you would like to to be able to do. There is one thing that I would really like you guys to go ahead and do and learn right now. And I'll go ahead and teach it to you here right now. I want you guys to get your search engine optimization down. Now, SEO, you're like, what are you talking about? This isn't YouTube. This isn't Google. TikTok is a search engine and it's turning more and more to a search engine every day that you're on the platform because there's more videos, there's more information. People make searches. 66% of people that are 30 and under have used TikTok as a search engine to get answers about local places, about locations, about products, about services. And so they go in there just like they would with Google and do the exact same thing. So in order to go ahead and gain that traffic and to understand what TikTok is talking about so that they can categorize you in the right place to be seen and to also be shown on the For You page to people that are interested in that, right? You have to be able to understand SEO. So I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you right now. The first thing that you need to do is you need to do research and understand what you are on TikTok. What are you on TikTok? What is your niche? What do you want to be about? Once you identify that, the next thing you have to do is search. You have to go and search and find the categorizations that are in the search bar, okay? Write down a few of those categories that you see over and over again. Once you find two, three, four words, that is those words are 
what TikTok identifies your niche as. Now, there are a lot of people who get this wrong because what they do is they think about what they would label their niche as, their videos as, and they do that. Instead, you have to understand, speak TikTok's language, understand what they categorize as, speak their language, use their keywords so you can make it extremely easy on your profile for TikTok to understand what you're about, right? So for me, I do TikTok growth in in my account name. My bio is helping businesses and content creators, keyword, learn the TikTok algorithm. TikTok algorithm, TikTok growth, businesses, content creator, TikTok algorithm. So TikTok starts to have something to hold on to, especially if you're a new account or especially if you're switching niches or you're struggling right now. Starting over and doing this is the best thing that you can do for your account. After you do that, you have to be consistent with using some of those similar keywords and things that TikTok understands as your hashtags, using those words in your caption, your captions, the things that you say the things that you type on screen, all of those things matter to TikTok because that's what they analyze to understand what your video is about. And the accumulation, right? The accumulation of videos that are similar, that are niche specific, that are solving a problem, entertaining, inspiring, and people starting to see value from that, that's how you build trust with TikTok. If if you've ever thought about how websites, for example, build trust, They build trust with their authority, how long they've been around, how good is the content, what are the words that are on the website so that TikTok or so that Google can analyze what those things are. Those same sort of things, right? Just like we talked about earlier with the components and understanding other components. How does SEO work for YouTube? How does SEO work for Google? Applying those things to TikTok, right? And so if you're a smart creator and you can reverse engineer those things, you can get TikTok to understand you way better than 95% of creators. And a lot of creators don't do this. A lot of creators and coaches and all of that think that this is just baloney. You don't need this. However, TikTok definitely has a trust score and TikTok has to know what your account is about because if they don't, they're just going to continue to try to guess right? Instead of getting shown in front of the right people. If you get shown in the right people, you know this, if you've been in business or you want to get into marketing, that getting shown in front of the right people is how you make money, right? Getting shown in front of the right people is going to get the right people to buy or take a chance on your video or go to the link in your bio or buy the affiliate product that they should be interested because they're interested in what you talk about, right? So understanding and identifying all of those things. So getting SEO alignment, full SEO alignment on your account is going to be massive for you. Now, there are other things as well, like ideas and hooks and the intro and your scripting and the way that you film, the way that you edit, retention, the format, all these things, right? The sound, the hashtags, these things all matter when you're making video. So what I want you to do is if you're interested in learning more about this, if you want to go ahead and get into that creator economy where it's going to double in the next three years. If you want to get in on that, I want you guys to go to the description. I have a free community in there. You guys can go out through, go through the TikTok bootcamp. I also have the TikTok SEO bootcamp, the things that we just talked about now. You can go ahead and watch that in there for free. Go ahead and check it out so you guys can get your account aligned. There's a community forum in there. You can ask questions as well. I'd love to see you in that free community. Guys, I hope this helps. Thank you guys so much. Take care.